Uh, a question coming in from uh, Black185 in our, in our uh, digital community. Said, do you, do you think, I'm assuming, uh, LGBT community in the black church can coexist? Absolutely. The issue of homosexuality within the black church is a deeply complex and evolving topic that has sparked considerable debate and reevaluation in recent years. Bishop T.D. Jakes, a prominent figure within the black church, has taken an active role in this conversation, seeking to understand and discuss the shifting perspectives on this matter. This discussion encompasses traditional views, the impetus for change, theological reinterpretations, community impacts, and future directions. Historically, many black churches have maintained conservative views on homosexuality, rooted in a literal interpretation of the Bible. Passages such as Leviticus 18.22, which states, do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable and Romans 1, 26, 27, which discusses men committing shameful acts with other men, have been used to justify the condemnation of homosexual acts. These interpretations have formed the basis of the traditional stance, which views homosexuality as incompatible with Christian teachings. The black church has long been a pillar of the African-American community, offering spiritual guidance, social support, and a sense of identity, especially during times of racial oppression and economic hardship. The church's emphasis on traditional family values, including heterosexual marriage, has been seen as a foundation for community stability and survival. Within this context, any deviation from these norms, including homosexuality, has often been met with resistance. Several factors have contributed to the reevaluation of the black church's stance on homosexuality. Societal changes towards greater acceptance and recognition of LGBTQ rights have influenced many within the black church to reconsider their views. The legalization of same-sex marriage in the United States and the increasing visibility of LGBTQ individuals in media and public life have made the issue more prominent and harder to ignore. Moreover, the increased visibility of LGBTQ individuals within the black community itself has played a significant role. As more people come out and share their experiences, the reality of Lug Butkiri lives within the community becomes more apparent. This visibility challenges existing prejudices and prompts a need for greater understanding and inclusion. I think it's gonna be diverse from church to church. Every church has a different opinion on the issue and every gay person is different. And I think that to, to speak the church, the black church or white church or any kind of church you wanna call it, are all the same is totally, totally not true. And all gay people are not the same. The, the, the types of relationships that are afforded are based on the types of people in each individual case. Yeah. And LGBTs of wipes and sorts have to find a household of worship that reflects what your views are and what you believe like anybody else. And the church should have the right to have its own convictions and values. If you don't like those convictions and values and you totally disagree with it, don't try to change my house. Move into your own and, and establish that sort of thing and find somebody who gets what you get about faith. And uh, trust me, I've talked to enough LGBT. They are not all the same. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Theological reflection and reinterpretation of biblical texts are central to the reevaluation process. Some theologians and church leaders argue that traditional interpretations of scriptures condemning homosexuality are not as clear cut as they might seem. They emphasize the importance of understanding the historical and cultural contexts in which these texts were written. For instance, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis 19 has often been cited as evidence of God's condemnation of homosexuality. However, many scholars argue that this story is more about issues of hospitality and violence rather than a blanket condemnation of same-sex relationships. Similarly, the Apostle Paul's writings in the New Testament, often used to denounce homosexuality, can be seen as addressing specific cultural practices of the time rather than condemning all forms of same-sex relationships. There's also a growing emphasis on the broader themes of love, justice, and inclusion that run throughout the Bible. Advocates for change highlight passages that emphasize God's unconditional love for all people and the call to love one's neighbor as oneself. They argue that the message of Jesus is one of radical inclusion and that the church should reflect this by welcoming Lugba key individuals fully into its community. 
if we can divide or what you would call separation of church and state, yeah. then we can dwell together more effectively. Because atheists, agnostics, uh, Jews, all types of people, Muslims pay into the government, the government then cannot reflect one particular view over another just because we are the dominant group of religious people in the country because those numbers are changing every day. We need a neutralized government that protects our right to disagree with one another and agree with one another. Mm -hmm. The shifting stance on homosexuality within the black church has had profound impacts on congregations and the wider community. Some churches have embraced more inclusive practices, welcoming Aljubatu members and affirming their worth and dignity. These churches often engage in active dialogue about the complexities of human sexuality, providing a safe space for Lajbib-Q individuals to express their faith. However, this shift has also led to significant tensions within some congregations. For churches with deeply entrenched traditional views, the move towards inclusivity can be seen as a threat to established beliefs and practices. These tensions can result in divisions within congregations, with some members leaving to join or form churches that align more closely with their views. The broader African-American community also grapples with these changes. The black church has historically been a strong advocate for social justice, fighting against racial inequality and economic oppression. As the church reevaluates its stance on homosexuality, it must also consider how this issue intersects with other forms of social justice. The fight for Elgbit II rights is seen by many as part of the broader struggle for human rights and dignity. There will likely be a continued emphasis on theological education and reinterpretation of scripture. Church leaders and members will need to engage with scholarly work and diverse perspectives to develop a more informed understanding of human sexuality. More churches may adopt inclusive practices, creating welcoming environments for LGBTQ individuals. This includes providing pastoral care and support tailored to the needs of LGBTQ members, offering counseling, support groups, and other resources. Fostering open and respectful dialogue within congregations will be crucial. Creating spaces where individuals can share their experiences and listen to one another can help bridge divides and build a sense of community. These conversations should be guided by principles of empathy, respect, and a commitment to seeking truth and justice. The Black Church may increasingly engage with broader social justice movements, recognizing that the fight for LGBTQ rights is interconnected with other struggles for equality and justice. By standing in solidarity with marginalized communities and advocating for systemic change, the Church can continue to be a powerful force for social transformation. Pastoral leadership will play a crucial role in navigating these changes. Leaders like Bishop T.D. Jakes, who advocate for a balanced approach that upholds biblical principles while demonstrating love and compassion, can help guide congregations through this complex issue. The issue of homosexuality in the black church is a deeply complex and evolving topic that requires careful and compassionate consideration. Bishop T.D. Jake's involvement in this conversation reflects a broader movement within the black church towards reevaluating traditional views and exploring more inclusive and compassionate approaches to human sexuality. This process involves theological reflection, open dialogue, and a commitment to justice and love. As the black church continues to grapple with this issue, it has the opportunity to be a beacon of inclusivity and support for all its members demonstrating the radical love and acceptance at the heart of the Christian faith.